Today on Real Skills, we're highlighting 25 years of the Culture Arts Department at the Thomas S. Murphy Clubhouse. The Culture Arts Department has flourished under the leadership of Alethea Sapp. She has mentored generations of artists, fashion designers, models, actors, and good citizens over the years. Ms. Sapp's unwavering love and dedication is found in everything she touches, from her paintings, clothing, pottery, drawing, and more. Ms. Sapp is a pillar which holds the club to a standard of excellence. I'm excited to talk to you today. Let's start by you telling us what's your name and what you do here at the Thomas S. Murphy Clubhouse. Hi, um, it's Kristen Mason. I've been a member here since I was seven. Um, I started going to the Culture Richard Department when I was like eight. That's where I met Miss Sapp, who taught me everything I know today, from dancing to art to fashion to sewing and design. How long have you worked here at the club? I am the dance teacher, performing arts instructor. I've been working here going on three years now, and I am looking forward to being here till I'm out of school. What keeps you coming here day after day? Um, what keeps me coming is working with different variety of kids and just trying something different in the clubhouses, going out in our community and expressing what we do at the clubhouse and yeah. What legacy do you want to leave here at the Murphy Clubhouse? Um, bringing Broadway to the Boys and Girls Club. Um, as a performing arts instructor, I want to try different things. Um, this year we're going to be working on West Side Story and last year we worked in Chicago so every year I'm trying to bring a different play or Broadway play to our clubhouse. Yeah, we're so excited to be here with you today. Mm -hmm. So let's get started on telling us your name and what makes you want to be at the Golden Girls Club. Well, nice meeting you as well. I'm glad to do this interview. I think it's something that's very important when youth come together to interview other people that mentor or non mentor. Okay, how long have you been working here? As a total, um, from um, uh, originally the uh, Flappers Boys and Girls Club to the Thomas S. Murphy Boys and Girls Club. I would say a total of about 25 years. Okay, what keeps you coming back here? It's the creativity of children. It's the way they look at the world. It's the way they react to certain situations that go on. And part of my responsibility is to give them the tools that is needed to make them well-rounded citizens. So when I have these conversations with them, with any issues, whether it's community-minded, family-minded, or just having fun, period, um, I get a lot out of it. I get a good sting out of it. I just think it's a fabulous thing. I come here every day to get my jolt of children. <laughs> What is the legacy that you would like to leave at Thomas S. Murphy Clubhouse? When it's time for me to retire from the Thomas S. Murphy Boys and Girls Club, which is something um, that time will tell, I want the children to become greater adults. I want them to be able to share with their children and the children after them that they are worthy of being on this earth. That whatever they do, there is no mistakes. It's just a lesson in life that you move on. So my legacy is to make sure everybody that I'm in contact with feels very well about themselves and love themselves. That's my legacy. That's nice. <laughs> it's nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The different techniques of paper mache, mm -hmm. how to um, form um, a bowl to create um, different um, designs. So these are going to be pumpkins. Okay. And then from here, this one is going to be a um, cupcake after she paints it out the colors. Nice. This one is a taco. I so see. Yeah, a taco. <laughs> um, 
pumpkin again. And these are some of the other ones that they um, uh, uh, competed uh, the other day. Okay. So this is kind of like a form of pottery? Yeah, it is a form of pottery. Okay. But it's paper mache. It's like using everyday items to create art. Right. So this is um, what they call recyclable art. Okay. So this is exactly what that is. You take everyday paper, put some glue together, put it all together, mm -hmm. and you um, create something with it. So it's recyclable art. You don't throw it away. You take it. You reuse it. So it saves the earth.